Hello guys and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you could fix the problem saying that we cannot find your camera error code 0xA00F4244 and also the error 0xC00D36D5. So if you are using Windows 10 and you have recently either upgraded to Windows 10 or just made a format or reinstalled Windows 10 and you are realizing your camera is not working anymore then this video is working for you however if this video doesn't solve your problem just write us a comment with the error code and we'll do our best to help you so let's go ahead and try to solve the problem so here is the problem and the solution there might be multiple first first of all let's check that our camera is not disabled by our keyboard some computers they have a keyboard button so usually it's F8 or F9 showing a camera with a slash or with a bar on it. I will show you on virtual keyboard or the on-screen keyboard how it looks like. So here we go. This is my keyboard. And when I press the FN button, I will be able to see the, the F buttons. So in your keyboard, you might see those F buttons on the top. And one of them should have a sign of a camera with a slash on top of it most computers they come with this button if you are using very old computer then the button might be on the side so make sure to have it turned on from the button manually if the camera is still not working then we will continue and go ahead with the next solution the next solution will be we will go to settings and in the settings we will check privacy and in privacy, we will look for camera. Make sure that you are allowing applications to access your camera and it should state on and make sure that the application which you are trying to, to use for the camera or for example, if you are trying to open camera, uh, if you are trying to use your camera through Skype, then make sure that you have selected Skype is on or whatever application is on. And also make sure that the camera is set to on if this still didn't solve your problem then we can go ahead and click allow desktop applications to access your camera and turn it on if regardless of this you are still unable to use or still getting the same error of the camera then let's go to the next solution which will be we will open services and we will check for sir for something very specific so here we will look on the services as we have opened it. We will look for Windows Image Acquisition. You need to have this set to status running and set start type automatic. If you want, if you have this as disabled or is not working or showing no status, just double click on it and select automatic. And if you have it, for example, stopped, then you can just click start. You click apply and then you click OK and then you close. You restart your computer and it should work. If after all of this, your camera is still not working, then you want to check if the drivers are installed. To do that, go to the search loop, regardless of Windows, if you have Windows 10, 7 or 8 or even 11, go and type device manager. We will open the device manager. And from here, we are going to look for our camera sometimes it shows as cameras like in my case and sometimes imaging devices so here i have the camera integrated camera so if you have if you don't have camera installed then just go ahead to google and type for example if you have a lenovo lenovo t420 then just type lenovo t420 i will show you how you can search for drivers to install them so let's connect to the internet. As I said, just open your browser, type the name of the brand of your computer. For example, in my case, I have a Lenovo. You can type HP, Dell, whatever laptops or computers brand. Type the computer series or the number, which is usually the, the name of that specific uh, uh, set of computers which get, um, which are being produced like in my case 
I have a Lenovo IB15, but I will use T420 for, for just learning purposes. And select or add camera drivers download. Here we will go and let's go to integrated camera drivers for Windows 7. It's okay because this computer was set to work only in Windows 7, so upgrading to Windows 10 might set some problems. So I will just show you how you can download and install the driver. So here we have pcsupport.lenovo.com. Make sure that you have selected the website of the company who made your computer to not download viruses or anything. So here we have camera driver and here we have also as you can see Windows 10 so we'll just click on the Windows 10 and we will download and install the integrated camera drivers automatically if if you are unable to find drivers for Windows 10 and you can only find for your computer for Windows 8 8.1 or even 7 please bear in mind that you can put them or run them on compatible mode this will be explained in another video how you can run a software or a driver into the compatible mode. So for now, after downloading and installing the drivers as you will as you will do with any other software, you might want to go and to make a refresh. So here I will just click and install device, for example, delete the driver software for this device to show you how you can do it. So since my computer is connected to the internet, I will be able to update the drivers automatically. But as I said, if you are unable to update the drivers and get the camera working automatically, then consider downloading manually as I show you from Google. So now pressing this little loop will download and install the drivers of the camera automatically for me, especially with Windows 10, since my computer is compatible. The next step, if, if after doing the automatic update or the automatic installation or the manual installation your drivers still not working then just click with the right button of the mouse on the camera click update drivers search automatically for updates windows will run and troubleshoot and try to fix the problems with your camera the operation might take few seconds to few minutes based on how fast is your internet and how fast is your computer So as you can see, downloading and installing, Windows has successfully updated your driver. Windows has finished installing the drivers for this device integrated camera. So now it's solved and the camera should be working. If you are still facing some issues or some problems, please consider to troubleshoot through settings your camera before you go for online help desk or for whatever. So you go back to settings and you can look for privacy, camera, and here you might want you might want to think to either run a troubleshoot or run a repair. If all of this still didn't fix your camera problem, please let us know through a comment and we will do our best to help you. If you would like, you can always encourage us by a like and a share and also do not forget to subscribe to get our latest videos. Thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.